simple world? You need something more powerful than any of us. For Tony in Avengers Age of Ultron, there's all this unfinished business. There's part of him that's still a bit of an engineer who just wants to kind of help them all do things a little bit better. Stark got this obsession, which is to create a perfect piece. Tony starts to realize, I don't have to be in the suit the whole time. And in fact, it might be more efficient if I'm not. I tried to create a suit of armor around the world. But I created something terrible. Ultron in the flesh. He's kind of cut out of the, the stark cloth. It's not just this kind of mindless robot. It, it has personality. Don't compare me with Stark. You're going to break your old man's heart. If I have to. He thinks he's doing the logical robot thing, but he's full of rage. When you programmed him to protect the human race, you amazingly failed. They don't need to be protected. They need to evolve. Ultron's going to evolve. There's only one path to peace. Your extinction. The filming is great. It's like summer camp. It doesn't feel like work at all. <laughs> that just happened. In this one, we're together a lot, which is great for us, terrible for Joss, because it's tough to wrangle 10 crazy actors that love each other. <laughs> Them having that kind of comfortable ease with each other is a delight. Every now and then, it's an exhausting delight. I never want to work with these kids, but I'll get them there. There's a real sense of unity. Show them what we got. That's all in the swing. This movie is incredibly fun and thoughtful, and it's my seal of approval. Russ. In Avengers Age of Ultron, the Avengers have to deal with the issue of there being a global entity. It's a different playing field. We're dealing with these situations on a kind of global level. As much as it could be, it's a much bigger film than the first Avengers. It's just visually where we're going. We're in Italy. It's incredibly cold and rainy and foggy, and we love it. New York's home to the Avengers Tower, which is massive. Very enthusiastic fans. They're very welcoming, letting us take over their streets for a few days. Today, the Avengers finds himself at Dover Castle, continuing the world tour. Welcome to South Africa, Avengers! We want to look at the Avengers, see the effect they have on the whole world, for them to come to places like Johannesburg and take with them the inevitable trouble that follows them. How is that going to affect their perception of each other and the world's perception of them?